In this video, I want to present to you a documentation structure that is really useful when dealing with lots of data, which you may not have heard of before. This documentation is called the Data Dictionary. So suppose you're going to analyze this data set over here named Home Prices. You open it and you see this data here, you see the variables. And I'm going to ask you, can you understand what each and every variable means? I mean, here we have price is pretty obvious. ASCII FT, I'm assuming this is square feet, since we're talking about home, the age of a home, feet, I don't really know what these numbers mean, and E also, cost, well, cost seems to be a dummy variable, but I don't know what it stands for. Same thing with core, C-O-R. And tax, I'm assuming it's the value they pay in taxes. These asterisks are probably missing values, but you still are missing some information. And suppose you created this data set, so you know what everything means. You know what all the variable means, you know the units of measurement you're using. But what if you stop using this data set and you go back to it a few months afterwards, four, five, six months, two years? Do you think you're still going to remember everything? How about if you're sharing your work, your data with other people, with a fellow researcher, or if you're publishing your work and you need people to reproduce it, well, then you need some extra documentation that's going to explain what each and every variable means. And this is where the data dictionary comes in. So let me close, let me minimize this. And let's take a look at this document over here, the Home Prices Data Dictionary. So the data dictionary is usually in a PDF or Word or even a notepad file. And here it is. It's explaining better both the data set. It's giving us some features of the data set and the variables. So for example, we know now that price is the selling price of the home in hundreds of dollars. ASCII FT is actually square feet of living space, age of home in years. Feet is the number of features out of 11 possibilities. So it's a number ranging from zero or one, I don't know, to 11. And E, whether it's located in the northeast sector of the city, it is a dummy. Custom is also a dummy. Core is also a dummy for corner location. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that. And the taxes, the annual taxes in dollars. So also we're saying here, that the missing data is represented by an asterisk. Since missing data in state is represented by a period, then we know we have to change this. And you might run into problems if you don't change the missing data symbol. We have 117 observations, eight variables, the data structure is a cross structure. Here's the download link if you wanna take a look at it, the source and so on. So I'm providing you with this template, not exactly this data dictionary, but a template similar to this that you can use to build your own data dictionaries.